Hi, and welcome to another Fool for Life workout. I'm Callie, and I have an amazing booty kicking, core crushing workout in store for you today. No equipment is necessary for today's workout, although if you are working out on a hard surface, you might want a mat. You'll definitely want some water and perhaps a sweat towel. As always, remember to warm up before you get started and to cool down after you're finished with your workout. We're gonna hop right into it. We have Tabata rounds today. So two moves that will alternate back and forth between for four minutes. At the end of our Tabata round, we'll finish things up with a one minute core focused move. Our first two moves that we have are going to be sumo shuffles where we'll shuffle and step nice and low, five steps forward, five steps back. And then we'll go into what I like to call a squat, twist, clap, clap. So we're gonna get started with those moves in about 10 seconds. Your feet are gonna be hip width or slightly wider apart. Toes are angled out towards the corners of the room. We're gonna take five steps forward in this low squat in two seconds and one. So step one, two, three, four, five. Step it back. One, two, three, four, five. Repeat, drop it lower if you can. Sit deep into that squat. Weight is in your heels as you step it forward and step it back. We have three seconds, two and one. Pop it up quick. We are going right back into that in five seconds. So bring it right here, drop it down. We're gonna walk forward in two and one. Steps forward. We have five forward, five back. Remember our core is nice and tight. Shoulders are relaxed. We have five more seconds. Last three, two, and one. All right, we have a squat, twist, clap, clap. So we are gonna sit it into squat, twist, clap, clap. Squat, twist, clap, clap. Starting in two, in one, right here. Squat, twist, clap, clap. Squat, twist, clap, clap. Keep it up. Modification for this would be walking your feet out and clapping rather than that explosive jump. Core is tight. Two seconds and one. Quick little break. We're going right back into it in three, two, and one. Squat, twist, clap, clap. Squat, twist, clap, clap. You got it. Deep breaths. Jump it as high as you can with those claps. Drop it as low as possible when you squat. We have five seconds. Breathe and squeeze, two and one. Quick little break. We're going back into our sumo shuffles. Feet are slightly wider than hip width apart. Toes are pointed out. Right here, drop it down, five steps forward. Five steps back. Drop it low. Shoulders are relaxed. We tend to carry our tension up here. Keep them low. We have two seconds and one, pop it up. We are going right back into our sumo shuffles. In three, two, and one, drop it down. Step one, two, three, four, five, and back. One, two, three, four, five, keep it up. As low as you can go with that squat. We have five seconds, can you drop it a little lower? Challenge yourself to and one, pop it up. We are right back to our squat twist, clap, clap. In three, two, and one. Squat, twist, clap, clap. Squat, twist, clap, clap, you got it. Deep breaths, speed it up a little faster if you can. All out for eight. Squat, twist, clap, clap. Last three, two, and one, quick little break. We're going right back into that. This is our last set of these. You got it. In two, in one, squat, twist, clap, clap. Squat, twist, clap, clap. You got it. Last eight. Three, two, and one. All right, inchworm planks with four shoulder taps. We're gonna walk our hands out in the plank position, in two, in one. 
So walking out in the plank, we're shoulder tapping here. Right hand to left shoulder, one. Left hand to right shoulder, two. Keep it up, three, four. Walk it back in with your hands. Tush tuck, repeat. Walk your hands out, core is nice and tight. Shoulder tap, one, two, three, four. Walk your hands back in, tush tuck. Breathe and squeeze. Your hands should be directly underneath your shoulders as you walk out into plank position. Core is nice and tight. Straight line the whole way from your shoulders to your booty, to your ankles. You got this. Keep it up, we have 10 seconds. Remember that tush tuck at the top. Last five. Three, two, and one. All right, grab some water quickly, and I'll see you in round two. Okay, we are headed into round two. For our first move, we have oblique standing side bends. So we'll focus on that right side first, and then we'll move into our left side. After we're finished with that, we have reverse lunges with squat jumps. So we're gonna reverse lunge right, two squat jumps, reverse lunge left, two squat jumps. Modification for that would be squat with a calf raise rather than those explosive jumping movements. So we are gonna hop right into it in 10 seconds. We have oblique side bends to start. We're gonna start with this right side. So your right arm comes up, knee is gonna meet elbow in three seconds, two and one. Knee to elbow, slow release. Knee to elbow, slow release. Core is nice and tight the entire time. Try not to tap that right leg down to the mat if you don't have to. <sighs> Big exhale as knee comes up, you got it. We have three seconds, two, and one. All right, left arm is going up. We are focusing on that left side. In three, two, one. Right into it. Knee to elbow, slow release. Knee to elbow, slow release. Core is tight. You can use that right hand and place it on your belly to make sure that you're activating your abdominal muscles. We have five seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, reverse lunge, two squat jumps, reverse lunge. We are getting started with a right leg reverse lunge lead in two, one. So reverse lunge, two squat jumps. Left leg lead, reverse lunge, two squat jumps. Land with nice soft knees, repeat. Remember, you can also do squat with a calf raise as a modification rather than that jumping motion with your squat jumps. Keep it up, we have five seconds. Use your hands to catapult you. Three, two, one. Quick break, we are going right back into that. Right leg lead in three, two, and one. Reverse lunge, two jumps. Reverse lunge, two jumps. You got it, keep it up. We have three. Two and one. All right, we're going back into our side bend. Right arm is coming up in three, two, one. Knee to elbow, slow release. Knee to elbow, slow release. Remember that big exhale as your knee comes up towards your elbow. Core is tight. We have three seconds, two and one. We're switching sides, left arm goes up. In three, two, and one, knee to elbow. Slow release. Breathe and squeeze. Stand nice and tall. Core is contracted, spine is elongated. Try not to touch that left leg down, you got it. We have five, three, two, and one. Back to our reverse lunges. We're gonna do left leg lead this time. In three, two, one. Left leg reverse lunge, two squat jumps. Right leg reverse lunge, two squat jumps. Repeat. Speed it up as fast as you can that you are still focusing on form. We have three seconds. Last two, 
and one. Quick little break. We are right back into it. In three, two, and one. Left leg reverse lunge. Two, squat jumps. Right leg. Two, squat jumps. Nice soft knees as you land. Use your arms to help catapult you. We're gonna come down to our mat in three, two, and one. All right, we have side plank, knee to elbow in five seconds. So you are popping up into side plank position in two, in one, right here. We are bringing knee to elbow and extend. Knee to elbow and extend. You can have that lower knee grounded for more balance and, st balance and stability as a modification. Breathe in, squeeze, extend that leg out. We're gonna roll it over and switch sides in five seconds. Three, two, and one. So roll it right over, knee comes to elbow, and release. Keep it up, core is tight. Breathe and squeeze. Nice long extension with your arm and your leg. Hips are stacked one on top of the other. You got it. Work through. Core is nice and tight. We have three seconds, two and one. All right, grab some water. I will meet you right back here. Hopefully you had a chance to rehydrate yourself. We're gonna come down to our mat for our next two moves. We have push-ups, which seems like it may be chest and arms, but you're actually really working your core with push-ups as well. So it's part of our booty kicking, core crushing workouts. So move one, push-ups. Move number two, we're gonna be in tabletop position with our knees and we're just gonna do crunches. So we're gonna bring it down to our mat in 10 seconds for push-ups. Modification for this, you can be on all fours, you can be on your knees, or you can amp it up on your toes. Starting in two, in one, we're dropping it down to push-up right here. One, two down, hold, big exhale, one, two up. One, two down, big exhale as you come up, squeeze your core, keep it tight. Breathe and squeeze, you got this, five seconds. Three, two, and one, bring it to your knees. Quick little five second break. We are going right back into our push ups. Really focus on that nice tight core. In two, in one. Here we go. Drop it down. Hold, big exhale, come up. Core is tight. Drop it down, pinch your shoulder blades together. Big exhale, core is tight. You got this. Eight seconds. We have five, three, two, and one. Flip it over. Our feet are in tabletop position. We are gonna come up into crunch in three, two, and one. So you're crunching up, pulse. One, two, three, drop it down. Bring it up, pulse. One, two, three, drop it down. As you do this, make sure that your knees remain right over top of your hips. Three seconds, two, and one, release, quick little break. We're going right back into it in three, two, and one. Feet are in tabletop position. Pulse, one, two, three, slow release. Core is tight, bring it up. One, two, three, and slow release. Lower abdominals are activated the entire time that you are crunching. We have three seconds, two, and one. Flip it back over, we are headed straight into push-ups again for 20 seconds. Starting in two, in one, right here, drop it down. One, two, three, big exhale. Bring it up, one, two, three, core is tight. Repeat. There's a misconception that push-ups should be done quickly. We wanna focus on slow and controlled movements. We have three seconds, two, and one. Woo, we're going right back into it in five seconds. Another set of push-ups. Here we go, starting in two, in one. Drop it down, core is tight. Exhale, come back up. Drop it down. Big exhale as you come up. Slow and controlled. 
We wanna get the most out of every movement that we do. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Flip it over, feet go back up in the tabletop position. We have our crunches in three seconds, two and one. So bring it up, pulse, one, two, three, release. Bring it back up, pulse, one, two, three, and release. Remember, our knees are directly over top of our hips as we come up into that crunch position. Two seconds and one, drop it down, quick little break. We are going right back into it in three, two, and one, feet are up in tabletop. Pulse it, one, two, three, slow release. Up, lower abdominal muscles are activated. You got it, we have eight seconds. Last five, three, two, and one, pop it up. We are back to our inchworm planks, but this time we are gonna do single arm salutes. So we are walking it into plank position, in two, in one, right here, walk your hands out. We are in plank, single arm salute with right arm, drop it down, single arm salute with our left arm, drop it down, walk your hands back to your feet, tush tuck at the top, repeat. As you single arm salute, make sure that you are not swaying too far to the right or to the left now that that arm is lifted. So we want our hips to stay squared with the mat as we go into that salute. Don't forget your tush tuck at the top. Breathe and squeeze, we have 18 seconds. You got this. Nice tight core. We have eight. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Grab some water, rehydrate. We have officially hit the halfway point. I will meet you right back here for round four. For our fourth round, we are actually gonna come down to our mat. We're gonna start with some bicycle crunches, so opposite shoulder to opposite knee. And then our second move is going to be our feet in boat pose and we're gonna pretend that we are pulling an imaginary rope. So go ahead and head down to your mat. I'll meet you there 10 seconds until we get started with our bicycle crunches. Our back is gonna be nice and flat on our mat. Feet come up in tabletop position. Remember it is shoulder to knee, not your elbows. Starting in two, in one, bring it up. Opposite shoulder to opposite knee. Nice, slow extension, core is contracted, elbows stay back behind you. Modification would be feet grounded and bringing shoulder to knee, shoulder to knee. Keep up with it, two and one, quick little break. We are going right back into another bicycle crunch set. In two, in one, feet come up, opposite shoulder to opposite knee, elbows stay back, core is tight, Lower back is pressed into the mat. You got this. We have eight seconds. Breathe and squeeze. Last three, two, and one. Come up to seated position. We are gonna bring our feet up into boat pose and imagine that we are pulling a rope that is really tight and really difficult to pull on. All right, right here. Feet are up. Pull that rope right to left. Core is tight. Modification for this would be your feet grounded rather than up in boat pose position. There is tension on this rope. Pull, 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 it's difficult. Three seconds, two and one. Drop those feet down, we are going right back into that. I really want you to focus on that rope being really tight and your core and abdominal muscles being activated. Legs come up right here, right now. Big exhales as you pull. You got it. Right, left, right, left. Lower abdominals are activated to protect your lower back. We have three, two, and one. Roll it onto your back. We have bicycle crunches. So feet come up in tabletop position. In two, in one, start with those crunches. Opposite shoulder to opposite knee. Elbows stay pointed back behind you. Breathe and squeeze, we have eight seconds. Nice extension with your legs. 
Last three, two and one. Drop it down, quick little break. We are going right back into bicycle crunches in five seconds. So bring your feet back up, core is tight, starting in two, one, right here. Leg extends out nice and long, elbows stay pointed, back behind you. We have 10 seconds. Last five, three, two, and one. Come up, we have our boat pose with a rope pull, starting in three, two, and one. Feet come up into boat pose position. Pull that rope. There's so much tension there. Use your core, use your arms. You got this. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And remember, you can always drop your feet down for modification. Protect your lower back no matter what. We have two and one. All right, feet come down. We are resting for five seconds and popping back up into it in three, two, and one. Both pose position. Pull that rope. Breathe and squeeze. You got it. Feet are flexed. Lower abdominal muscles are activated to protect your lower back. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, our one minute core focus move. We have side plank thread the needle. So we are popping up into side plank position in two, in one, right here. Side plank. We are taking that top arm and threading underneath our body right back up to start position. And thread. Just like before, you can have that bottom knee grounded for some extra balance and stability while you are threading. We are going to flip sides in five seconds to even things out. Four, three, two, one. So roll it to the other side. Same thing, we are threading underneath. Core as tight as we come up. Thread underneath, core as tight. Slow and controlled, back up to start position. Breathe and squeeze. We have 15 seconds. Take these nice and slow. These are not about speed. Abdominal muscles are activated, especially as you thread. Three seconds, two and one. All right, awesome job. Grab some water, hit pause if you need to. I will meet you right back here for our fifth round. We are headed back into some booty focused moves. So for our fifth round, we are gonna start out with a static low squat and a heel raise. So we'll squat really nice and low. We're gonna lift that right heel up to start. Second time around, we'll lift our left heel up. Then for move number two, we have reverse lunges with a kick. So it'll be right leg lead. You'll reverse lunge, you'll kick. Reverse lunge and kick. We'll do an entire set on that right side. Second set through, we'll focus on the left. Are you ready for it? 10 seconds until we go into it. So we have our feet, hip width are slightly wider apart, and we are starting with those squats with the heel raise in eight seconds. So get ready for it. Feet are spread, chest is nice and open. Drop it down in three, two, and one. Right heel comes up, so lift it. I don't know if you can see me. Let me scoot back. Here we go. That right heel is up really nice and high. I'm sitting my weight back into my left heel. Core is tight and shoulders are relaxed. We have five seconds left here. Drop it lower if you can. Core is tight. Three, two, and one. Quick pop up. We're dropping it back down in three, two, and one. So drop it down. This time left heel is up. Sit it back into that right heel. Weight is Back there, core is tight, chest is open, shoulders are relaxed. We are breathing and squeezing, focusing on the movement. You have five seconds left, you got this. Last three, two, and one, pop it up. We are going into right leg reverse lunge with a kick, starting in three seconds, two, and one. So we are reverse lunging and kick. Right back into it, lunge and kick. Repeat, if you are not a fan of lunging, focus on those kicks rather than incorporating the combo movement. We have five seconds. Pick it up a little faster if you can. Three, two, 
and one. All right, quick little transition. We are going into our left leg lead in three, two, one. Reverse lunge and kick. Reverse lunge and kick. Breathe and squeeze. You got it. Pick it up as fast as you can that you are still focusing on the quality of the movement. We have five seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, back into our squat with a heel raise. Starting in three, two, one. Drop it down, right heel comes up as high as you can. Get it up there, core is tight. Sit it low, breathe and squeeze. We're gonna hang out right here for 10 more seconds. You got it. Drop it a little lower if you can. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Pop it up. Shake those legs out. We are going into our other side. So get ready for it in three, two, and one. Drop it down. Left heel comes up really nice and high. We have to even everything out here. Shoulders are relaxed. Breathe and squeeze. I know we're working our booty, but keep that core nice and tight. Sit it a little lower if you can. You have five seconds. Three, two, and one. Pick it up. Shake those legs out. Right leg, reverse lunge with a kick in three seconds. Two and one. Step it back, reverse lunge and kick. Repeat. Big exhale as you kick that right leg forward. You got it. Core is tight. Last five. Pick it up a little more if you can. Three, two, and one. All right, left leg lead this time. We are headed into it in three seconds. Two and one. Left leg lead and kick. Left leg lead and kick. Keep it up. Breathe and squeeze. Core is tight. Shoulders are relaxed. Sit it deep into that lunge. You got it. Three seconds. Two and one. All right, we're coming down to our mat for our one minute move. We have a forearm plank with knee taps. Starting in two, in one, pop it up. Forearm plank position right here. So our core is nice and tight. Fingers are pointed forward and nice and spread. We're gonna tap our right knee down and bring it up. Left knee down and bring it up. Repeat, right to left. If you feel your lower abdominal muscles disengage at any time. Drop it to your knees, reset, and pop back up whenever you're ready. We're halfway there. Breathe and squeeze. Focus on that core contraction. Nice straight line the whole way from your shoulders to your booty to your ankles. You got this. Do a quick body scan. Is your core tight? Are you activating all those muscles? 10 seconds. Last eight. Shoulders are directly over top of your elbows. Three, two, and one. Pop it up, grab a drink, and I will meet you back here for our sixth and final round. We are gonna head right back down to our mat for our sixth and final round. We're gonna get started with bridges and leg extensions. So we'll bridge up, we'll extend our right leg out, hold, drop it back down to start position, bridge back up and extend left leg and back to start. Then we're gonna go into pendulum leg lowers to work our lower abdominal muscles. So we'll have our arms spread out to the sides and we'll carefully lower our legs right to left as if they're a pendulum. All right, head down to your mat. I will meet you there in 10 seconds. We are getting started with our bridges and leg extensions. So five seconds until we go into it. Three, two, and one. Pop it up in a bridge. Extend right leg out. Hold. One, two, three. Glutes are tight. Drop it down. Pop it back up. Squeeze your booty. Extend left leg. Hold. One, two, three, and drop it down. We have five seconds left. If you want, hang in there with me for active rest and don't take a break. So right here, work through your rest time. You got it, this is called active rest. Drop it down, pop it back up. Right leg extends, squeeze your booty. One, two, three, drop it down, bring it up. 
We have 10 seconds left. Make sure your hips stay squared with the ceiling as you extend one leg. Three seconds, two and one. All right, pendulum leg lowers. So our arms are coming out to our sides. Our legs are coming up nice and straight. We're gonna lower them left to right in three, two and one. So lower body sways down to the left, come up, down to the right. The really important thing to focus on here is that your upper body remains pressed into the mat. You can also have your feet in tabletop position. We have three seconds left, two and one. Quick little break. Five seconds here until we go back into it. We have three, legs come up, two and one. Slow lower, upper body stays pressed into the mat. Big exhale as you come up. Remember, you can have your feet in tabletop position for this. Focus on that lower abdominal activation. We have three seconds, two and one. All right, we're going back into our bridges with leg extensions. We have five seconds, four, three, two and one. Pop it up, extend right leg. Hold, squeeze your booty, drop it down. Pop it up, left leg comes out. Squeeze your glutes, hips stay squared with the ceiling. Drop it down. Repeat, just like we did in our last set of these, we are gonna work through our rest time. So we are gonna call that active rest. We're actively resting down on the mat. <laughs> Core is tight, push through your heels as you come up. Extend that leg out. Hips stay squared. A lot to focus on with this movement. So our glutes are tight. Our core is contracted. Our hips are squared with the ceiling. We have five seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, back to those pendulum leg lowers. Either with our legs extended or in tabletop position. Starting in three, two, and one. So we are focusing on lower abdominal activation and our upper body staying grounded on the floor the entire time our legs lower side to side. Use your breath to help you. So big exhale as you come up, slow release down. You have five seconds, three, two, and one. Quick little break here and we are going right back into it in three, two, and one. Drop it down. Big exhale as you come up. Other side, slow release. Big exhale as you come up. Remember, these are slow and controlled. We have three seconds left, two and one. Okay, our last one minute core focus move is up down plank. So we are starting in hand plank position in three seconds, two and one. So we're in hand plank position. Guess what, we're dropping into forearm plank position. So down, down, coming back up into hand plank position. Up, up, repeat, down, down, up, up. You got it, core is tight. We have 35 seconds left of these. So try not to sway too far left or right as you come down and up into hand plank and forearm plank. Pretend there is a glass of water on your back that you are trying not to spill. We have 20 seconds. Core is tight. Shoulders are directly over top of our elbows and our wrists. 10 seconds, this is it. Last move of today. You got it. Last five, four, three. Core is tight, two, and one. All right, pop it up. Awesome job today. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, please cool down now that you're finished with your workout and cheers to a healthy lifestyle and living full for life.